St. Peter's means a lot to me. I've been here for nearly 33 years. And my main concern has been in teaching the Bible, helping people to come and acknowledge the Bible, the sacraments, especially the Eucharist and the confessional. I spend every Saturday evening sitting in the confessional and people from all over Bombay come here to St. Peter's. It's been wonderful to be here. People are kind, generous, always willing to help you whenever you want them. May God bless them, especially during the 160th year of the church. God bless you. I am an original parishioner of St. Peter's Church. And what brings me here is I like the Jesuits. <laughs> I don't think you should say that loud, you know. <laughs> Can you tell me which Jesuits inspired you? Okay. Uh, there were many here. Father Maciel, Father, even Father Comas, then Father Barjao. I think they were all very inspiring and encouraged us during our, when we were, when I was here. I wish to thank God for the gift of all the priests and may they continue to be like Jesus, the eternal high priest. My favorite teacher is teacher Sabita. She's really funny. Um, because I just like the atmosphere and I've always been here from childhood so I like to be here. I love Father Harold and I love the choir. I like my friends around here. I was from another parish but I came here. I like it. I like St. Peter because it's like a second home to me. I mostly spend most of my time over here with all my friends, having fun with them. So St. Peter is a really good place. Actually, I like I mostly come to play sometimes over here or sometimes to meet my friends. I like because of Father Andrew and Father what to call his name. I like Father Errol and Andrew's mass for them. Miss Lydia because she's a very free teacher and very caring person. Sabita, because she's very nice. She's nice to me. Teacher Sabita, because she's nice. I like her. The community, love, friendship from each other. I'm a traditioner of St. Peter's. It's so nice and very, uh, I like it very much. Everything is so well organized. I belong to St. Peter's Parish. I have been teaching in St. Stanislaus for years. So naturally my heart is all halfway here than anywhere else. I'm very privileged to be a parishioner of St. Peter's Parish. I have a lot of interaction with the priest. My family members have been very, the priest have been very cooperative with us, especially in moments of grief, like Father Saldana, Father Viris, Father Bhargjav. They have always stood by us in whatever problems we had. Even the present priest here are so cooperative Whatever time we need them, they are there for us. So I'm very thankful to the priest of St. Peter's Parish. And I'm really happy that I, am, I belong to this parish and I serve this parish so faithfully. The masses and the homilies are so good of the present priests that they really give us a lot of spiritual advice and spiritual food. And that's how we enjoy this coming here for mass every day and serving the parish. Uh, first of all, I love St. Peter's Church because of, uh, I don't know, it's logistically one of the best parishes in Bandra. It has, it has a very, very pretty atmosphere around here. Uh, the other thing is St. Peter's Parish caters to a very diverse group of people. We cater to the aged, to the very young, to the youth, to the people in between youth and adulthood like myself. So that's one thing that I really like and I'm definitely looking forward to the 160 year celebration and all the festivities that come with it. You know this lady out here and uh, she's uh, the daughter of uh, Rob, uh, Robert uh, Sacristan. Now she's going to tell us something about Robert, you know, because Robert has been a, a pillar of our church out yeah. So let me hear something about Uncle Robert. Well, uh, for him, the church came before home and his fort was the sacristy. He was very particular, never allowed anyone to come in and uh, was also very strict where the fathers were concerned coming late from us. He gave them a glare and they knew that they were in the wrong. Hey, 
hearing more about Robert, because I also remember Robert very fondly because I was an older server, and all the mischief he did, he would really get angry. So can you tell me something more about him? How was he as a person? As a person, he was an adorable father. Uh, though he spent most of his time in church, but at the end of the day, he did have time to sit with us, to say the rosary, and to sing all the hymns from the Rejoice in the Lord. So today, if you ask me to sing all our ladies' hymns and without the book, I can do that. Thank you so much. You were really great. Priests and people of the St. Peter's Parish have done a tremendous job in bringing the building up a community of love. Okay. See, we've been in this parish for almost 45 years. And I think St. Peter's an excellent parish, run very well by the Jesuits. The Jesuits are very disciplined and they've kept everything under discipline in the church and they, con they conduct their services very well. And now recently I've seen that the church is being decorated very well. In fact, it gives us, a, you know, a feeling of real joy to see such, you know, decoration done with such care and I really had off to the people who are doing it because it's, they're taking a lot of trouble. And the priests themselves are, are, you know, are so dedicated, although most of them are very old, but I find that they are really dedicated and they care for the parish. I think the Jesuits are cut out differently. They're all for the others and for, the, for doing service to the parish. 160 years, I would like to see that the St. Peter's Church goes on for another 160 years and the same zeal and enthusiasm carries on. Yeah, for, uh, to me it, it uh, brings a great sense of joy to speak about St. Peter's because this is the, the church that brought me up. This is the church that gave me a vocation. I am a Jesuit. I recall many hours I spent not only in prayer but also in play in the church and in its premises. I recall with gratitude the fathers uh, who were uh, a great joy to meet. So that is what St. Peter's means to me, you know, uh, during my childhood days when uh, I had to be geared up. Uh, there was obviously my family first, but secondly the church that brings me fond memories. And as it completes 160 years, I can only wish it best. And at present I see such an active dynamic church that it gives me a great joy to have been associated with this church in the past and in some way uh, my sentiments for St. Peter still remains. Thank you. Well, I'm coming from across the road St. Joseph's Convent Bandra and I'm proud to be a parishioner of St. Peter's where the liturgy is so meaningful. The priests are dedicated, committed and they are a witness to all that they preach. Besides the whole atmosphere, the clergy, are so participative that it is really an enriching uh, experience. St. Peter's Church is a very welcoming church. The priests, the community here, and what you see every, every time you come in, it's always people chatting, children playing, the priest comes out to talk to the people. It's a very welcoming feeling that you get whenever you come to St. Peter's Church. And I come because it's my parish. Because daily it's a kind of exercise for me and I come and pray. I like to come to for the Mass in St. Peter's and that's what I'm doing. Thank you, Sister. I come to St. Peter's Church because I see our Lord standing there and saying, come. And that's an invitation to come to St. Peter's and, and to experience His love for us. St. Peter's has been our parish for, since my grandfather's time. And uh, we are so attached to this church that we feel uncomfortable going anywhere else because of the environment, the, our Lord, as she says, uh, welcoming us. I've been coming to St. Peter's Church ever since we became parishioners some 47 years ago. So many of my nieces and nephews have been baptized here. My brothers and sisters before that were married here. I said it in the wrong order, but anyway. And um, the priests are our friends, our gurus, and we have so many neighbors. This is a lovely place in which to share the blessings. Because I love it, and it is very good to hear mass and all. And it is very nice, uh, the church is very nice. 
because it's an awesome parish and I'm actually from Andrews but I always come to St. Peter's because it makes me feel like it's home like what else? Um, there's a lot of activities it's always a fun happening parish and they're ever so welcome to accept you whether you, in whatever way you want to help they're just ever ready to accept you at the present I'm working here as the, in the men's con confinity and I'm and I come here almost every day for mass coming here for mass makes me a little happy in the evening makes me happy in the evening time. You see, one is that, you know, we have, especially the Mass, we have certain priests that give us such effective sermons. They do make a difference in our life. Well, it has, St. Peter's has a very kind of a atmosphere that is really related very much to what St. Peter's in Rome, because I've been there, and I have, I feel so much like it's that, the piety is so good and so, so great. It's a beautiful church, the beautiful decor, the priests preach so well. It's a place of love. I'm a parishioner. I've always come. I've always come. Because uh, it's very peaceful and I like the priests, the sermons that they give. I like the ambience and it's a very beautiful church compared to the other churches. Oh, I love the church. The services are excellent. The preachers are great. And the people around are lovely too.